What's up everybody, Camero here, and welcome to part 44 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be talking all about bridges. I'm going to show you how to set them up and what tiles to use. I'm going to show you what events you need to be using, and then we're going to make our own custom bridge. I've got some crappy little tiles down here where we can actually make our own bridge tiles pretty easily. And uh, then we'll talk about some just general philosophies and stuff about setting up bridges, and you know, how to get them running over water, with waterfalls, and making them look nice. And uh, yeah. With that said, let's get into it. So, the very first thing you want to do when you're making a bridge is, believe it or not, use bridge tiles. Um, pretty obvious, when you want to make a bridge, first thing you should do is find a bridge. Cool. So, this is just the default Pokemon Essentials tile set. This is the outside one, or more specifically, the outside water set, waterfall tile set. Um, scrolling down a little bit, doodly doodly ding, here we go. So, you'll see a note here. This one says players go under only. This one said players go over only so this group of tiles here the player will walk on top of and these have a terrain tag of 42 this one is the one the players go under only and this has a terrain tag of 15 those numbers are a little bit important but for the sake of what we're doing shouldn't be too shouldn't matter too much really all you need to know is that you should use this set here on the left ding so these are the ones that the players will walk underneath only so these ones these ones appear on top of the player these ones appear below the player, essentially. And the trick here is using events to swap our bridges between the two. And let me show you what I've done right here. Let me uh, let me just wipe these out so that way I can show you it fresh. Whoop. So I've got two bridges set up here. They work pretty darn good. When I right click on them, it tells you which tile set I'm using or which tiles I'm using. So when you're making a bridge, you want to use this set here on the left. And uh, let's just make a little horizontal bridge. If you want, you can make a vertical bridge. If you want, you can make a little one one long bridge. Doesn't look as good like that. In fact, it doesn't look that good in general. Let's get rid of it. Let's make it a two. Boop and boop. Right click and drag, left click. Boom, there we go. So what this should be is a little bridge that the player will walk underneath. And let me show you. I'll show you myself going into the game and walking underneath it. And then after that, I'll show you how to switch it. So check it out. Here we go. It's just a little bridge that I can walk underneath. I can currently not walk on top of it, but with a little bit of magic, and I'll break this down in a second, you can switch the state so that way you can now walk on top of it. So what we're going to be doing is setting up bridges and calling events so that way we can walk underneath and then walk above. So let me uh, show you. Now that that switch is on, I cannot walk underneath it. Talk to her. Now I go underneath, and I cannot go on top. And check it out, I've even got a little NPC here who's walking underneath the bridge. I can't walk on top of it, I can walk underneath it though. You can surf underneath them too, check this out. Let me get down in there. Boink. Whoa, look how nice that is. Cool. But then if I call this method, players go on. I'll break all these down in just a second though, so don't you worry. I can now not surf underneath it. At least I shouldn't be able to. Oh, oh no. All right, cool. So what am I doing here that makes the bridges change states? It's actually very easy. Let me show you. Boop. Let me go into our game here. So this one is calling a method PB bridge on. That's all it is. PB bridge on. And what you can do if you really want is plug in a number here. But by default, you don't need to. You can just call PB bridge on. If you go into the scripts, there's bridge on and bridge off. These are just defined here. This is all they do. They set bridge heights. And um, by default, it sets it to two. If you want, you can plug in three or four. Um, don't, don't type in one because the player is more than one in terms of height. So if you want the bridge to be above you, it should be two or higher. So it defaults to two. Really, don't, don't stress about this too much. You're just going to be calling bridge on and bridge off. These are the two functions that you're going to be calling. If you want a really great example of how to set this up, you can go to root two in the default maps and they actually call it here. What they've done is they've set up an event where when you walk onto this tile, it turns the bridge on. When you walk onto this tile, it turns the bridge off. So the way that we're going to set our bridges up is like this. When you're walking, do, 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 I'm walking to the bridge. Ding. I hit this tile, turns the bridges off. That means that I, when I hit a bridge, I will walk underneath it and not on top of it. Bridge off means you walk under. Then you walk up one tile, ding, you hit this one. That turns bridges on. That means I walk over. 
So bridge off is under, bridge on is over. So this is set up so that way if you want to walk onto the bridge, do 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 ding, cool, bridge is now on, and then I can walk over it. And then if I want to leave, I'm leaving the bridge, I'm walking down, boom, I turn them on, boom, I turn them off. So the last state when leaving is that the bridges are off now. So let's just copy one of these, bridge on, boop, let's go to our map, bing, cool. So the way that this works is on player touch, if you step on this event, it'll turn the bridges on. And I can really just copy it and paste it, and really just go in and edit, bridge off. There we go, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There we go, so we got our bridge ons and our bridge offs. So let's start applying these to the front and backs of our bridges. So I've got kind of a tight squeeze area here. Let me open that up a little bit so that way we don't have to stress out. It's not gonna look too great, but I just wanna open this up a little so that way we can have a nice little area to show off this event. Boom, isn't that nice? All right, cool. So right outside of the bridge, we should call bridge on. Boop, boop, boop. It's not the best way to do it, but you can put it like right on the edge of the bridge. If you want to make it very fancy, you can put it one away. Because sometimes you can see the state change. So if we make it one away, like so. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. And uh, screw it. I'll put another rock here so we don't have to worry about it too much. There we go. And then bridge off. So one thing you should note also is... By default, if you fly or if you uh, if your Pokemon black out and you have to leave, every map transfer turns bridges off to default. So by default, you want bridges off. You you really only want to call bridge on when you're right about to cross over a bridge. So the general default state of these bridges should be uh, off. But then you call it on right before you walk on the bridge. So let's do something like this. Boop boop boop. Put a little uh, barrier of ons around the intro. Of this bridge then copy some offs and go do 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 there we go so we've got ourselves like a little protective barrier everything on the inside should be bridge on everything on the outside should be bridge off cool and then i'll do it for this one also like one thing we really could do here is just call bridge on like on, on these stairs we could call them anywhere we want really um as long as bridge off boop boop Boop, boop. So those are both offs. These are both ons. Cool. So now our bridge transfer should be pretty good. One thing to note is that NPCs on bridges can get kind of wonky. There are some known issues with it. So I'll show you. I'll show it off, actually. It gets really weird. But now our map... Oh, bump in the mic. Now our bridges should be functional. So here we go. Right now the bridges are default off. And when I walk on these tiles, the bridges are still off. When I step on... When I move up one tile, it should turn the bridges on. Oh, yay, there we go. So now our guy's walking on top of the bridge. Boop. Aha. So bridge on and bridge off. So now, like, our bridges should be functional, where it's transitioning between the on and off state. So you should be able to walk above it when you want to and underneath it when you want to. One thing to note is when the bridges are on, you cannot surf. And you can't waterfall. Here's the thing, though. Since I'm running in the debug version of the game, I can still waterfall. It's a little bug. But let me show it to you without using debug. If you want to test your game without debug, you need to run it through here. In your game folder, run the game ex exe. Hey, look, it's me. Boom, let me get in the game. Cool. So let me run on up here. I cannot waterfall. It just tells me about the wall of water crashing down. I mean, I do have a Gyarados that knows waterfall. And he also knows surf. I cannot surf from this bridge while the bridges are on. Yay. Then bridges get turned off. Now I can walk under the bridge. <gasps> can I not surf? Oh yeah, do I not have the badges? Oh, that's a thing. Oh well, that's just a dumb little thingy. Where I'd have to like turn that in my scripts. Anywho, that's besides the point. Our bridges are now working pretty great. We've got them set up. We've got our events going. So far, so good. If you want to layer a bridge on top of a bridge, that's going to be kind of crazy complex and that would need to be covered in like another video. But if you just want to do a single bridge like this, more power to you. NPCs on bridges can get kind of weird. If you um, if you put this guy on the water, he won't move because he basically treats the passability of like what's beneath the bridge. Let me show that off. It's kind of dumb. So if you want to have an NPC patrolling on a bridge, 
it can get really weird. Look at that. Look at that. He doesn't want to move. He doesn't want to move. It's just a it's just a real fun a real fun. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's get him out of here. Ding. Cool. So now let's make our own custom bridge. I've done enough talking about the default bridges. What if we wanted to make our own bridges? Well, it's actually not too hard. What I've got here is just some crappy tiles from the top of this roof. And um, let's say this one here in the middle will be 15, and this one here on the right will be 42. So let's do something like this. I'm pasting all these. So these will be the top of our bridge. And just to make it easier, let's, uh, let's get rid of the water underneath it. There we go, and let's have it connect to another little island. Uh, like so. There we go. It doesn't look great. In fact, it looks pretty goddamn terrible. But, it will be a custom bridge. So, if you want to make your own custom bridge, you want to have at least one texture for something, or one tile for something that you go above, and one tile for something that you go under. Or in this case, going under and then going above. Anywho, that's besides the point. Let's get into the game. Let's start setting some tile sets, or some terrain tags, excuse me. And then, uh, let's get poppin'. Alright, so... Bridges are now on. Bridges are now off. Bridges are now on. I can walk over it. I can walk under it. Cool. Now here's our own little custom tile that we're using that's not gonna follow the rules at all. In fact, it's not following really any rules of passability. It's kinda crappy, if you ask me. So, let's do this. Let's... Go. I was about to close it. I was just about to close it. But we don't wanna do that. We wanna go to Information Editors. We want to edit our terrain tags. It's going to tell me that there's detected tile set changes. I know about those. Let's let's accept it. Now I'm going to mash page down on my keyboard. Page down allows me to scroll pretty darn fast. Let's find it. Here we go. So here's the tile that we're currently using. Let's set that to 15. And then let's set this other one to 42. Ta-da. Save changes. Yes. Close and reopen RPG Maker XP, X from the editor. Okay. Cool. So ensure, to ensure that the sa changes save, I'm going to close the game. I'm going to close RPG Maker XP. I'm going to reopen RPG Maker XP. Whoopity do. Here we go. Cool. So now, this little boy right here should have terrain tag of 15. Now let's go into our editor of the tile sets, if you will. Let's scroll on down. I just want to make sure of one thing before I commit to this custom bridge. Let's take a look at the passability of some of these others. Passage, they both have the same passage. The priority has to be four. Cool. So let's set the priority of this one. One, two, three, four. Passage, Do do. cool. So this is really gonna ruin this house, but I don't care. For the sake of this example, let's just do this. Cool, the terrain tag should be, yeah, cool. So the terrain tag only displays up to certain numbers in this editor, so if it's not displaying any numbers, then that means our, our changes have persisted, so that's good. Counter flag, I just want to compare and contrast these two real quick. No bushes, priority four for that. So that means this is the one that you go under, so this is the one that's above you. Looks like really everything should be good. Passage, four way, cool. Uh, right on. So it might be a little stupid because it's a one. Since it's a one, let's do this. Since it's a one, let's make it so that way it's a thin bridge. Is that good? Nah, I need to do this. I almost messed it up, see? I almost messed it up, but hey, here we are. So in the sake, for the sake of making a custom bridge, we're gonna just make it a little skinny plank. It's not gonna look too great. In fact, it looks pretty awful if you ask me. But, now everything should, theoretically, be working according to plan. So bridges off, bridges on. Bridges are now on, so I should walk above it. Oh no! It's not working. Alright, I found out what the problem was. So I was editing the wrong tile set when I used this tile set editor. I needed to go to menu and go to change tile set and make sure I selected outside waterfall. That's the real one I'm working in here. So let me show ya. 15 and 42. Cool, cool. Let's go down to our little house that we're messing around with. This one should become 15. This one should become 42. Cool. Save the changes. Yes, please. There we go. Now I can exit from the editor and everything should be good. I just need to set the uh, priority and passability of the tiles again. I'm sorry about that. Sorry to waste your time, my dudes, but outside waterfall. 
scrolling right on down. Look at our little housey housey. If I check the terrain tags, those should both be, uh-huh, it's looking good. Set the priority of this one to be four. Set the passage of this one to just be boop boop. And then this one should just be boop. Cool. So now everything should be in line with the other bridge. Now if I boot into the game, everything should be good. Let's just be sure to also put our bridge stuff here. Boom boom. So this is bridge on. This is bridge off. Oh, sweet. Let's check it out. This should work now. Hopefully everything works now. I hate editing the wrong tile set. It makes me feel dumb. This, if it works, will make me feel smart. Yes! It's working. We've made our own custom bridge that we can walk underneath. Oh, yes. And then above. Oh, looky that. Look how happy I am. I'm gonna do a little bridge dance. Alright, cool. Thank you everybody for watching this. If you got any questions, hit me up. I know I've been gone a lot. I've been super busy. Um, sorry, but uh, busy is as busy does. I'm, I'm working on a crazy project, and that crazy project has been extended. And uh, you know how it is. You know, you know, you know what's up. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to make more tutorials. I've got a couple ideas in mind. There's a couple good topics that I want to cover, like you know, editing the Pokedex and. You know, doing Elite Four stuff and credits and end of the game stuff. There's still plenty more topics to cover. Um, yeah, I kind of want to focus more on doing like Unreal Engine and Unity stuff moving forward, but I still, I, RPG Maker is close to my heart. I want to make more like portfolio piece games in the future, but I don't know. I, I'll always come back and make a, t a Pokemon tutorial here and there. Just, you know, be patient, bear with me. I'm a busy boy. But yeah, I hope this video helped you out. Be, be sure to. Be sure to subscribe and do all the all the deets. You know you know what's up. You know I'll put the Twitter and Twitch and stuff on the screen right now. Boom! I'll put the uh, I'll put the Discord stuff on the screen. Boom! I haven't been on the Discord at all and I'm very bad about it and I'm sorry and goddamn I'm just terrible. I'm just terrible, aren't I? But hopefully this video wasn't terrible. Hopefully this video was great. Hopefully it helped you out and hopefully now you can make your own bridges. Hopefully now you can make really cool maps because. Let me tell you, nothing spices up a route like a nice bridge, in my opinion at least. I'm a big fan of throwing bridges everywhere. But yeah, with that said, thank you again for watching. I hope this video helped you out, and I hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.